2024 for the exchange of real property between Charles Guzman and McLeod County as permitted by Minnesota Statute 373.0 board meeting. However, the newspaper notice was not published in time for the original public hearing that was scheduled for 9.15 a.m. on Tuesday, August 6, 2024. Okay. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Nagel and a second by Luthens to set a public hearing for 9.15 a.m. on Tuesday, September 3rd, for the exchange of real estate between Charles Guzman and McLeod County. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item B, consider approving an estimate from Kurth Welding and Repair, LLC, for sign stands at a cost of $2,125 and an estimate from Crow River Signs for signage at a cost of $800 with American Rescue Plan Act funds. Park and trail signage was identified as an opportunity for improvement in the parks plan with the assistance of University of Minnesota Extension intern Emma Bruder. Educational signage was designed for Swan Lake Park. Swan Lake Park is unique in the fact that it hosts many different habitats including lakeside, deciduous, coniferous, wetland, and grassland. The total cost of the project with the two recommended, two recommended estimates is $2,925. A second estimate for signs and stands were, was received from Paneer Graphics for $4,965. Okay, questions, anyone? Move approved. We have a motion by Nagel and a second by Luthens to approve an estimate from Kurth Welding and Repair and Crow River Signs for a total of $2,925. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item C, consider approving a grant application with the IJ Burrich Found Family Foundation requesting $8,000 in funding to be used for the installation of three AED units and outdoor cabinets at Lake Marion Regional Park, Piepenberger Regional Park, and Stalls Lake Park. As outlined in the park plans, outdoor AD units were recommended for all six county parks as an important safety feature. We are proposing to start with the installation of units in our three most visited parks, which are Lake Marion, Piepenberg, and Stalls. To assist with the funding of the units, I am requesting board approval to submit a grant application to the foundation with a requested amount of $8,000. The total estimated cost of the three installation, installations is 10500 Okay. Questions, anyone? I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion by Wright, second by Luthens to approve the grant application to the IJ Birch Family Foundation. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, finally, consider approving the McLeod County Piepenberg Regional Park House Rental Lease Agreement. For the 2024 season, the campground hosts at Lake Marion and Piepenberg were expected to live on site to better manage the campground and provide a better experience for the customers. The host at Piepenberg Park had originally planned to purchase a hard sided camper, was, but was unable to secure one due to unforeseen circumstances. He began the season in a tent, but due to the large rainfall events, he requested to reside in the house. He has been allowed to stay in the house while an agreement was developed. The agreement was developed in cooperation with the attorney's office and administration. The plan for future campground hosts would be to require them to have an RV, <coughs> excuse me, an RV or camper prior to the start of employment. Okay, questions, anyone? Move approval. Sir, okay, we have a motion by Nagel, second by Luthens to consider approving the McLeod County Piepenberg Regional Park House Rental Lease Agreement. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Item E. Please consider approving the agreement with Houston Engineering Inc. for updates to the county hosted Geo, Geo Moose based map viewer at a cost not to exceed $23,510 with funds from the county surveying and GIS budget. Um, county recorder budget and the information technology budget. This agreement covers upgrades to the underlying software reconfiguration of viewers and migrating the host of the viewers and GIS data to HEI's Microsoft Azure Cloud. The cost for this update will be split between the recorder's office at $9,380, information technology $4,000, 
and GIS picking up the remainder, $10,130. <clears throat> Discussion, anyone? Okay, we have a motion by Nagel. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Nagel, second by Luthens to consider approving the agreement with Houston Engineering. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, I'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Employee relations. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have one item this morning. Uh, item A is to consider the recommendation from the budget committee to approve the 2024 compensation services agreement with Keystone Compensation Group out of Minneapolis, Minnesota at a cost not to exceed $20,450 with funds from the countywide budget. This uh, compensation compensation service agreement includes uh, annual compensation program maintenance of our current maintenance program, consultation uh, around this program and training for staff. Um, an agreement with Keystone will be brought to the board annually for approval. We have been working with Keystone since 2014. Okay, questions, anyone? We'll go for we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Question. we. Yes, go ahead. Is this an agreement every year that we're paying our intro? So, this is something I will bring to the board every year um, asking for approval. This is the first year that we're doing this type of agreement with them, but we've been working with Keystone since 2014, like I mentioned. Right. So every year we have the same cost. So, in the past, we've done more like project, like just project based work. Um, initially when we worked with Keystone, we did a really big project. Mm -hmm. We've been managing this compensation project and utilizing Keystone when necessary. And to continue to um, use the program well, we're looking at this annual agreement with Keystone. So it could change if we go back to a project. It's true, yep. This is like for overall maintenance of what we're doing, working with this consult, uh, or working with these, these experts around our um, compensation program that we're using right now. But yeah, we could go back to them for a different program for a project if we wanted to. Um, but this is kind of like, it's a maintenance agreement, kind of like we would do with our IT programs or um, ongoing maintenance of a snow plow, things like that. This is just specific to our, to our uh, compensation program. So we have a special item or we need some help with it, just ask for it. I don't, know. I don't want to put words in Hannah's mouth, but it's a lot like a consultant or having somebody Right? I mean, mm -hmm. would that be fair? Yep. Say, yep. And so what I'm bringing to the board today has a few different within the contract I provided in the, um, the full uh, packet. There's specific items that we're looking to for approval today, up to a dollar amount. If there's anything additional that we want from Keystone, I would bring it back to the board for approval. Our discussion, I'll go, were you finished? Okay. Just a second to add, I think our discussion and budget committee, um, it is an annual agreement, so if we're not receiving the, the, you know, the feedback or the data that we need, uh, we don't have to continue after this. However, I think this hopefully will help kind of stabilize some of the up and downs in the com compensation tables um, so that we can do a little better job on, on budgeting what those values might be going down the road. So. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, will proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. All aye. Right. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Auditor was in the room. It's a busy day in that department, so maybe had to step out for a bit. So we can definitely come back to that so we can move into um, county administration. And so we'll begin with our calendars. Commissioner Nagel, if you're ready. Yeah. Um, it's been a bit since we've been here um, because of some scheduling things. And <clears throat> admittedly, I didn't have a ton of formal uh, meetings throughout that time. One that I'd like to bring up uh, regarding uh, a ditch meeting in the district I represent um, uh, regarding uh, redetermination and clean out. Um, we'll be seeing that, I think what I got word this morning is we'll be seeing that next week uh, to prove all the landowners were in favor of that. Uh, the group was smaller but very um, engaged and vocal on their wishes regarding what they wanted to see happen. 
um, with that with that system, and uh, we can um, look forward to seeing that. And then one other thing, I got to be a part of a meeting that wasn't honestly even county related, but got to uh, uh, go through our parks plan and talk to uh, a group about that, and the community is excited how we're looking at it and investing in it, um, and seem to be um, encouraged by that. So that was nice to get that feedback. And I don't know, at the fair this week, will there be anything regarding the parks? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Any information regarding the parks plan at our booth or anything like no, that? No, there will not be any information in the booth for okay. the parks well, plan. We did that I, last year. But I'm sure there'll be yeah. plenty of people that can answer the questions mm -hmm. as we go through. So really with that, I think I'll just leave it at that regarding my report. Okay. <clears throat> uh, over the past few weeks, uh, did have a feedlot meeting where we looked at a recommendation for a for a variance um, budget committee. We did see the one item here today that we talked about on that, and also uh, kind of preparing for those preliminary um, preliminary levies uh, numbers uh, that we will be setting sometime in September. Fairgrounds Commission, um, of course, our building projects uh, that uh, that they're having there, and everything will be uh, you know ready to go uh, in a in a day here for the McLeod County Fair, <clears throat> with the exception of our new building that we were hoping would be done, but uh, uh, didn't make it due to some setbacks uh, during the construction period. I uh, did also have a meeting with uh, uh, Sibley County Commissioners on Judicial Ditch Number Five as it outlets through the City of Gaylord, uh, trying to find some ways to uh, resolve some issues there with. Uh, with flooding through town and the impact on High Island Lake and also the surrounding ditch systems there. So that is gonna be a, a long process of, of trying to unravel some solutions. Um, with that, um, hey, within a, a day or two, make sure and stop out at the McLeod County Fair and uh, enjoy everything that our, our uh, community is putting together out there. Daryl? Oh, thank you. I've been hospitalized for two weeks down at Abbott Hospital with blood infection in my leg. So that stopped my chemo treatments because my weight count was way low. So I've been busy doing nothing. I'm in bed. <laughs> um, August 5th, I did get up around Airport Road. Taking things, thoughts about that and the roundabout got a hold of maintenance uh, with uh, Aaron and Vaughn. What threw me for a loop was uh, the roundabout, the circle in the middle. I talked to Paul Wright about it. And, and he was right. He said, take a double look at it. And there's another curve that's to be put in just, just for the semis and tractors. Trying to keep the cars on the outside and not make a double, double loop. So we met with the engineers in our department and with the people that are involved in doing this. And I went to the public hearing on the adjustments uh, for the ferry operation, which was in the morning. Quite a few people there. Then I went to the 212 ribbon cutting over in, in uh, Norwood by Bungard, so the bridge is going over the top of 212. There's a lot of handshaking and all the legislators were there, all of them. <laughs> Served a nice lunch in a bag, sandwiches and potato chips. I should take care of the week. Okay. Hopefully your health continues to improve, Commissioner. Thank you. Anything from our attorney's office at all, Steve? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. 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 Administration. Thank you. Oh, um, should we? Yeah. Connie did. Okay. Sorry. Our uh, auditor treasurer did step back in the room, so we can go ahead with your items. Again, a very busy day for your departments. Sorry. Happy election day. Um, I do have one item with two considerations today to consider approving the joint powers agreement between the state of Minnesota and McLeod County effective July 3rd and expiring September 30th, 2024 to act as a recount official designated by the office of the secretary of state. Um, the OSS has released the joint powers agreement between the state of Minnesota acting through its secretary of state and the governmental units 
Pursuant to Minnesota Rules Part 8235.0200, the state shall designate all governmental units who enter into this agreement as a recount official for the purpose of conducting any recount required under Minnesota Statute Section 204C.35 related to this 2024 August um, state primary election. The governmental unit shall perform the recount of any votes cast in the county in which the governmental unit is the auditor treasurer and in any additional jurisdiction mutually agreed upon by the governmental unit and the state. The governmental unit shall conduct the recount in accordance with all applicable Minnesota laws and rules as well as any additional information or guidance the state would provide. Um, the governmental unit shall begin the recount if there would be one on August 26, 2024 and shall continue until either all ballots in the jurisdictions are counted or designated as challenged or an election contest is filed in any of these elections and the court takes jurisdiction of the matter whichever comes first. The recount shall be completed on August 30th, 2024. Okay. Any questions at all? We have a motion by Nagel and a second by Luthens to approve the joint powers agreement between the state of Minnesota and McLeod County to act as a recount official designated by the Office of the Secretary of State. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then there would be the second motion to consider approving and authorizing um, myself, Auditor Treasurer Connie Kurtzwig, to act on behalf of McLeod County as the recount official named within the Joint Powers Agreement. Okay. Questions on that, anyone? I can make a motion to approve that. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Wright, second by Luthens, to approve authorizing the Auditor Treasurer to act on behalf of McLeod County as the recount official. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go back to administration. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Item A, consider ratifying the professional service agreement between the Minnesota County's Computer Cooperative, a joint powers organization, and TriMin Systems, Inc., for the maintenance and support of the integrated financial system platform independent at a cost of $20,847.58 with funds from the information technology budget. Okay. Any discussion on that? Questions, anyone? I can, okay. We have a motion by Nagel. Is there a second? Second. Second by Luthens to consider ratifying the professional service agreement between Minnesota County's Computer Cooperative and TriMan Systems. Is there any further discussion? See none will proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Oppose? Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, notification of board workshop following our board meeting on Tuesday, August 20, 2024 at the McLeod County Government Center 520 Chandler Avenue North, Glencoe, Minnesota. This workshop will be the board's annual highway tour. So we should have a little bit of follow-up discussion on that um, <clears throat> about potentially moving our highway tour um, okay. again. <laughs> and uh, we, we are having um, some scheduling conflicts, trying to make that work out, and it is an important thing uh, that we need to, uh, you know, look at every year whenever possible, so that our public works department has an opportunity to get board members on some of these road projects um, and have a discussion at the same time um, instead of one one at a time. Uh, and so uh, next week is is already looking like we may have a problem with uh, with getting all five board members um, there. So. Um, Andrew, what are your thoughts about, you know, finding a time in September or October when maybe we've got a better chance at making that work out? Yeah, if we can't get the, all the board together, it doesn't make sense to do it. Um, the intent on putting it earlier this year than we have in the past was to kind of get ahead of the budget process yep. and be in line with that. So, And that's a very good, um, um, very good idea. Uh, but I think at this point, 
we probably better look at rescheduling. So we can still let the notice stand that we're having a workshop, but it'll most likely be here, um, but uh, uh, not not for a road tour. So Sounds good. All right, thank you. So Mr. Chair, I'll just um, repeat that we'll have the workshop, but we will not have the board's annual highway tour. We'll announce when it will be rescheduled Correct. as soon as possible. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. We're now at the end of our agenda. Do we have anything for uh, open forum or press relations that need to come to before the board today? Okay. Um, seeing nothing uh, of additional concerns, we'll then be looking for a motion to recess. I so move. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Luthens and a second by Nagel to recess until our next county board meeting, 9 o'clock, Tuesday, August 20th, at the McLeod County Government Center. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. We'll break for a few minutes and then we'll uh, head into our workshop items.